Hey guys, I've been getting a lot of questions about nutrition recently. What do I do? Where do I start? Does it work? Can I really do it? How do I get lean abs while eating double stuff Oreos? Luckily there's answers to all of your questions. But first let's talk about a little bit what nutrition really is. All right, so we have macronutrients, carbohydrates, proteins, fat, and alcohol. I list that in there because it does take some calories to burn off a gram of alcohol, seven calories. Uh, nine calories per gram of fat, four calories per gram of protein, four calories per gram of carbohydrate. These are our macronutrients, right? These are gonna be the basis of what you're trying to eat all the time. Micronutrients include, include vitamins and minerals, and there's all, all kinds of ways that vitamins and minerals help, and we'll get into that in a minute. But these are your basics here. How much carbs are you taking in? How much protein are you taking in? How much fat am I taking in per day? Doesn't matter. And absolutely, it does matter. So what I like to use is this little circle here. You should be eating about 85% clean and 15% choice, right? This is called flexible dieting, right? And flexible dieting or macro counting, that's what I think is the, is the best way for your average person to really get lean and you can get lean quick. It's a lot better for your lifestyle. There are other diets and we'll get into that. But this is what I do, this is what a lot of people that I know do because it fits their lifestyle. 85% of what they eat is clean. 15% could be your double up Oreos or whatever it is that you want. That's why you can eat your pizza in here, you can eat your cupcakes or your donuts in your 15%. Right? So counting macros means I'm going to figure out exactly how many macronutrients my body needs for each day based on my height, my weight, uh, my gender, my activity level, lots of different things. It's going to be specific to each individual person. So once you find that out, you can Google that macro cal macro calculator. Just put that in Google, and then put you'll find something on there, and then put your information, and then it'll tell you how many carbs per meal. Okay. Well, you can start to divide those into four, five, or six meals. It doesn't really matter that much as long as, at the end of the day, you're getting the right amount. And most people are way off on fat or way off on carbs or, or protein or way under on one or the other as well. So you see a lot of people that have way too high carbs or way too high fat and way too little protein. And once you balance that out, your body only needs a certain amount of energy every day. And if you give it that exact amount of energy every single day, it's gonna to start to make adjustments. When you have the extra energy, calories, that's what this is, the measurement of energy, your body's gonna store that as fat. So. If it fits your macros, that's a very popular nutrition uh, diet right now. Flexible dieting is what it's called. I recommend that. Right? And there's, there's an app and a website called MyFitnessPal.com. MyFitnessPal is the name of the app. And you can calculate everything that you eat. You can grab a bag of Doritos and scan it. And it'll come up. You can weigh you know, bell pepper. You can weigh chicken. You can measure everything and put it in to see, am I getting the right amount of calories? And that's going to be a good little challenge for you guys. Just to just measure everything that you do for one day. Don't change anything that you eat. Just measure it and you'll see how far off you really are. So what does clean eating mean? All right, a lot of people don't know what that means. Um, this is going to be mostly for your carbohydrates, mostly complex carbohydrates. All right, the difference between complex and simple carb is a simple carb breaks down very, very quickly in your system. All right, think of it like a fire. If you're running a fire, you want to put big logs on that fire that are going to last a long time versus putting paper, it's going to burn up real, real quick. So sugars are going to be the paper that burns up real quick. Very, very simple carbs. And more times than not, that's where you find this stuff here. You want some cheesecake? Sugar. Yeah, that goes in there. And that's okay. That's totally okay to eat cheesecake, but don't eat that for 50%. Eat that just for 15%. So complex carbohydrate, vegetables, whole grains, these are things that are gonna break down a lot longer in your body. It's not gonna spike your insulin levels, and that's what we consider clean uh, for the carbohydrates. For proteins, lean meats, fish, chicken, uh, turkey, you can even do red meat if you're into that, um, but try, try to go for the more leaner cuts than, than the ones that have a lot more fat in them. Um, fat, so you can get fat from almonds, you can get fat from avocados, coconut oil, or you can get fat from McDonald's, right? So there's different qualities of fats, and obviously we're looking for more of the cleaner fats, avocados, things with higher omega, omegas in them. 
carbs are going to break down into glucose. Glucose is sugar. Again, we talked about the time that it takes to break down is important, right? But at the end of the day, it breaks down to glucose. That's why it doesn't really matter that much, as long as you're getting the exact amount of carbs per, by the gram that you need by the end of the day, because it all breaks down to glucose at the end of the day. If you eat a pepper or if you eat a Snickers bar, it's going to break down to glucose, and it's going to be stored as glycogen in the body. Proteins are going to break down to amino acids. So vegetarians, they kind of have a hard time getting protein because only, only animal meats are, are complete proteins. So vegetarians can have a little bit more difficult time. They have to find, okay, what has the essential amino acids? They might have seven of the nine, and this one, this one might have the other two, and this, so I need to, they need to combine foods. Still works. I know a lot of vegetarians that are absolute monsters and totally ripped. Uh, it's just a little bit easier to get your protein from animal sources because it is a complete protein. It breaks down into all the amino acids, uh, all the essential amino acids, where vegetables you have to mix and match. Fats are gonna break down to fatty acids, and these are, these are a breakdown of when you eat any sort of carb, any sort of protein, any sort of fat, this is what they break down to. It doesn't matter what it is, right? So I had a lot of questions, and one is, what's the secret to lean abs while eating double stuffed Oreos? Well, it's pretty simple. Again, are your carbs, your protein, and your fats, at the end of the day, are they exactly where they, where they need to be? And you can put your double stuffed Oreos in here. So if you're doing a workout, post-workout, you don't want complex carbs. You don't want fat. Fats, break, fats take a long time to break down. Complex carbs take a long time to break down. But when you're after you finish a high-intensity workout, you want that sugar in there as fast as, as possible. So that's when you can eat double stuff Oreos. You can eat Cinnamon Toast Crunch. You can eat whatever it is that you really want. Uh, there's going to be some better things to eat. You know, the higher up you go as far as being an elite level athlete, you know, you get a little bit more serious. But yeah, sure, eat your double stuff Oreos after your workout, and that's actually kind of a good thing. How do I maintain body weight and get lean. Well, to maintain weight, you need to eat the same amount of uh, macros that you need every single day. But now, to, you, once you hit that point where it's like, okay, I'm kind of plateaued. In the beginning, you're gonna start to lean out like crazy just by dialing in the right number of macronutrients every day. But once you're there, it's like, okay, now I'm kind of, I'm kind of cut, I'm kind of lean, but I want to get even leaner, but I don't want to lose weight. How do I do that? Well, now this starts to get a little bit smaller. Okay, now it's 90% of the food that you eat are gonna be clean. So 95% or 100% is not very likely, but yeah, you can do that for sure. It's gonna be super strict on your diet. So basically, the more you, the more you close up this choice, um, this, this choice food here, the leaner you're gonna get. But this is life, this is real life right here. It's kind of impossible for most people to constantly always, always, always eat clean and then what they do is they oh, eat clean, I eat clean, I eat clean, I'm a psycho, and then they go off the deep end. Then they binge, they eat entire pizza. You can eat pizza, just not an entire pizza. Right? If you want to eat pizza every single day, eat pizza every single day, that's fine. If you want to eat a donut every day, that's fine. Don't eat a dozen donuts. That's where, that's where people go off the deep end, and that totally messes up your physiology when you go on these huge binges. Next question, oh, sorry, losing weight, how do, we, how do we do the same thing, but how do we lose weight? Well, you take your, your macros and you cut them down a little bit. And there's, there's calculators for that. Say, I want to lose five pounds by this much time. And then it tells you, okay, well, instead of uh, 270 grams of carbs per day, you're going to need 240 grams of carbs per day. So then you adjust accordingly, and then your weight's going to start to drop and drop and drop because you're not giving it more than it needs. And the, the macros that are coming in, your body's going to adjust on how much it's getting in on a regular basis. Best eating plan. All right, there's a lot of nutrition plans out there. This is called flexible dieting or IIFYM. Fits your macros. Is this the best? Well, there's a keto diet, there's paleo diet, there's zone diet, there's Atkins diet, there's this diet, there's grapefruit diet, there's a million diets. But what is the best? The best diet, plain and simple, is the one that you can stick to. And a keto diet is eating mostly fats and proteins and very, very little carbs. So the protein kind of stays constant. Uh, it might be a little bit higher, but the fats are way higher on a keto diet. And what that does is 
your body starts to change off what it runs off of instead of having all this glucose in your body, which is what is, is used for muscle contraction, your body has to make glucose from somewhere else. If you're not getting it from carbs, it has to be made. And where it can be made is from this fat. So it starts to pull fat from your body and break that down. It's a lot, kind of a vigorous process. And it takes a couple of weeks for your body to adjust to being in a ketogenic zone, right? But as soon as you have this big carb meal, as soon as you have this big binge meal, then it throws the whole thing out of whack. So you can get really, really lean on a keto diet, but you have to be really disciplined. And if you're not, then that diet doesn't work for you. So is that the best diet for you? No, it's not. The best diet is gonna be one that you can stick to, plain and simple. It doesn't really matter that much. If you stick to an eating plan and you're consistent over a long period of time, you're gonna get great results. What's best for women? Doesn't make a difference. Everything that I just said, it doesn't make a difference whether you're a man or a woman. Um, if you're pregnant or something like that, you might wanna to talk to your doctor about that. Supplements. What are some of the best supplements to take? BCA, that's branch chain amino acid. Fat burners, protein. Well, this is a tough question to answer. It kind of depends. I would say protein, whey protein, if you're into lifting weights. Again, protein, if you take a scoop of protein powder or you eat four ounces of chicken, they're gonna break down to amino acids. No matter what, they're gonna break down to the exact same thing. So you're not gonna get big and bulky from taking protein powder versus eating chicken, right? It's the same exact thing. So I recommend protein powder. It is a good way to get your protein in for the day, especially post-workout. Uh, whey protein breaks down faster than any other protein. It's really as simple as that. So it's gonna help rebuild those muscles as quickly as possible. So I recommend whey protein post-workout. Um, branched chain amino acids, you can take those during your workout, just kind of sip on them. But I don't really think that's necessary. I think for most people, you're gonna get massive results from this and tiny, tiny, tiny results from this, right? But if you're at that point where it's like, I'm an elite athlete and I'm, I've lost my race by one one hundredth of a second, well then yeah, these tiny results are gonna make it a difference. Fat burners, don't do fat burners, right? That's just crazy amounts of caffeine and different drugs in there that are gonna jack up your, your heart rate and you're not gonna be able to sleep, you're gonna be sweaty, you're gonna be gross. This is, this is really bad for your heart. Right. Don't do fat burners. I don't recommend that. Do this first. This is going to get you, again, massive, massive results. Fat burners could give you some results that you're going to really, really regret. BCAs and protein kind of doesn't really matter at all. What's the fastest way to lose love handles? Again, a diet that's going to be consistent over a long period of time. Right, so it's not 85% clean and 15% flexible Monday through Friday. It's 85% clean, 15% flexible every single day. And if you do that over a long period of time, that's when you're going to get the best results. So you can't lose fat in a specific area faster than another area. Right? It just you're going to lose fat from your entire body. And when you stick to a nutrition plan, that fat's going to come off quick. Right? So if you want to. You can't spot train is basically what I'm trying to say. You can't just do you know, a bunch of oblique sit-ups and expect that you're gonna get super ripped here. Right? It comes from the nutrition, it also comes from your training. So the way that you're gonna burn the most amount of calories is when the intensity is the highest. So high intensity interval training, that's gonna be the best to really kind of lean out as quickly as possible for any sort of intense training. Uh, so I recommend high intensity interval training. It's short, it's sweet, uh, it hurts but you get massive results. Your heart rate's gonna be up for an extended period of time. So what, what that is, is a short bout of as hard as you possibly can go, for 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes, whatever, cut, followed by a period of rest. So I can go 30 seconds really, really hard. And then if I rest for 90 seconds or 60 seconds, I can probably go for another 30 seconds really, really, really hard. Where if I, and let's say I do that uh, 30 seconds on, 90 seconds off, that's two minutes. So I do that for 10 rounds, that's 20 minutes. So having my heart rate go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, it's gonna give me much better results because the hormones that are gonna be produced, we'll get into that later, than just going a 20 minute run straight across. You're gonna burn calories for that 20 minutes straight across, but as soon as you're done, that's it, no more burn calories. When you're doing high intensity stuff, you're gonna release hormones like testosterone, HGH, IGF-1. These ones are gonna be floating around in your body for hours after you work out and that's gonna continue with this fat, this fat loss and muscle growth. So 
flexible dieting, give a shot, myfitnesspal.com. Definitely check that out and get yourself set up.